guys, welcome back to Mim Mom and the Minis, your YouTube channel for everything that's fun and happening in the world of toys and kids. Today is all about Frozen 2. We have the ultimate Arendelle Castle, and this video is for you, Mom and Dad, because I'm going to guide you step by step on how to assemble this new ultimate Arendelle Castle. If you guys are super excited about this brand new Frozen 2 movie, make sure you guys hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any videos like this. So real quick, let's just go over the box. So this is the Frozen 2 Ultimate Arendelle Castle. It is five feet by four feet. It has seven furnished rooms. It has two-sided play. And it has a moving balcony that is super cool. And it says here that we have a colorful light show and it will fit 12 inch dolls. So that's super awesome. It says it includes a castle, 14 accessories, and instructions. And of course, the dolls are not included. And this is made by Hasbro. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this box open and pull all of my pieces out so that I can take you through your step-by-step -step guide. I have all of the pieces out of the box. We did try to go through and organize according to numbers. Some of them say L and R, which means left and right. So we separated the left pieces to the left, the right pieces to the right. And then the ones that did not have L or R on it, we did put in the center. And then some of these uh, roof pieces did not have numbers on them. So we just kind of piled those together and we are going to follow our instruction manual. So here's our instruction guide. So on the first page, it shows your contents. This is These are all of the pieces that are gonna be inside of your Ultimate Arendelle Castle. You do not need any tools for this. The only time that you will need a tool, you will need a screwdriver to install the batteries for the light up piece. And then on the next page starts our assembly. So we're gonna start with our step one. You will definitely need a nice, large space to work with with all of your pieces. So we're starting with step one, we need number one, two, three, and four. Here we have number one. This is what your number one is gonna look like. This is your number two, so this is what it's gonna look like. And when you try to find your number, if you can kind of see, it is in the plastic. And then we have number three. This is what your number three is gonna look like. And number four. So this says to make sure that you hear a click sound to ensure proper assembly. So we need to make sure that we click these in nice and tight. So number three is gonna be your centerpiece and number one is gonna go on your left side. Number four is gonna be on the right side and number two is going to be up top here. So we're gonna go ahead and snap number three into number one. And then we're going to snap number four just like that so number four went into number three on the right hand side and number two is going to snap in right up top just like that so there we have our first main floor so now we're going to move to step two which we will need 5L 6 and 7R. So here we have 5L right here. This is going on your left side. We have 6 and then 7R. That is what those three pieces look like. Okay, so we're going to snap these three white pieces together. Just like this. And then there's that. So together it should look like this. So this is number eight and this is number 10. You see your little pegs here and they go right into these holes. So 
So there's eight, and then we have 10. And that's what it should look like. So then we move on to step number four. These pieces just snap right into your main floor. So for step number five, we're gonna need numbers 19L, 19R, 20L, and 20R. So this is 19L and 19R should look identical. And then we have 20L and 20R. Again, you're gonna find the numbers molded right into the plastic. So we have 19L and that's going to snap right in here. Then we have 20L, which is going to snap back here, which is going to snap in right back here, just like that. Then we have 20R, and then 19R. So for step number six, we're gonna need number nine and number 11. So this is number nine. And this is number 11. Number nine is going to snap in. Just like that. And then number 11 is gonna go on the other side. So now that step is complete. So we're gonna move on to step number seven. So on step number seven, we're gonna need 16L and 14L. It says times two, so there must be two pieces. So here we have 14L, it's going to look like this. And 16L, which is going to look like this. Okay, so we're gonna snap 16L into 14L, just like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing for 16R and 14R. Just like that. Then we move on to step number eight. We're gonna take 16R and 14R and we're gonna snap them into our main floor. Like that and then we go back to our 16L and 14L and do the same thing. This one slides right in. Like that. And that step is done. So for number nine, we're gonna need 15L and 15R. So this is 15L and this is 15R. They should look exactly the same. So 15L is going to slip right into the middle here 
and snap right in. When snapping these in, you want to make sure your design here is facing into the room. You want the back of the piece facing into the walkway. Just like that. So for number 10, we need number 12 and number 13. For step 10, we're going to need number 12 and number 13. Okay, so we're going to snap them into our doorway like this. So you want your door handle to be closer to the bottom. And then for step number 11, we're gonna need number 17 and number 18. So this is number 17 and number 18. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece right here where it snaps and you're going to snap it into the post right here. Just like that. And then you're gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing. You wanna make sure that the smooth part is facing outward towards the front of the house. And then we just snap in, just like that. So now your main floor is done and it says to start floor two. So we're gonna start with step number one for floor number two. So we are going to need number 21 and number 23. So here we have number 21, which is your purple. This is gonna go on your left side. And then we have number 23, which is the pink. And that is gonna go on your right side. You're gonna snap these down right into the slots. Just like that. And then we're gonna move on to step number two for our second floor, which we're gonna need number 22 for. So 22 is going to go directly in the center of 21 and 23 like this. There we go, all snapped in. So for step number three of floor number two, we're gonna need 24, 25, and 26. So here we have number 24. 24 is going to have two windows. Here's number 25, which is your white piece. And then number 26, which has one window. So you want the one with one window to be on your right side and the one with two windows to be on your left side. So we are going to snap these pieces together. Just like that. And then we are going to do 24 into 25 as well. that and then we attach to the house that was step number four for the floor number two so to move on to step number five, we are gonna need numbers 27 and number 28. So here we have number 27 and number 28. You want 27 to be on your left side and 28 to be on your right. And they are gonna snap into the house just like this. And then we do it on the other side. So then we're moving on to step number six for floor number two. We need 30L and 31R. So we went ahead and turned our house around since we'll be working on the interior at this point. Um, we have number 30L here, and this is going to insert right here. 
And then there's a little peg that snaps into the back of the purple piece. And then we have 31R, which is going to do exactly the same. And then into the back of the purple, just like that. So now we're on step number seven. We're going to need 29L and 29R. So here we have 29L and 29R. 29L is going to go on your left side and 29R is going to go on your right side. Just like that. So we're on step number eight and you're going to need number 32 and number 33. They look like this. This is the piece that you need to insert three AAA batteries into. These two pieces are going to snap together just like this. Then we move to step number nine, which needs piece number 34. This is what number 34 is going to look like. This one is going to insert this way. You're gonna see an arrow that points up. You want that arrow pointing up and facing inward towards number 33. Just like that. You wanna make sure that your stand here and all of your designs are facing towards your designs that are going forward like this. And then for step number 10, we go over to the posts and we're gonna slide it directly down the posts. And you can put your Anna and your Elsa doll on here and you can go up and down the elevator with the light display. So now we're moving to floor number three. So we're gonna do step number one and we need number 36. So this is number 36 and you're just gonna place it right in the center and snap right into the posts. Just like that. Then for step number two, for floor number three, we need number 35. And this is what number 35 looks like. And this snaps just like that. For step number three, we're going to need numbers 43 and 42. So here is number 42. This is going to be the one window side here. And then number 43, which is going to be the two window side here. And we're going to go ahead and just snap those in. We did turn our house back around to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see me snapping these in. So there is number 42 and now we need to do number 43. For step number four, we need number 47 and number 48. So here's number 47, and this is number 48, and you're gonna snap number 48 right into number 47, just like that. So now we're gonna place this piece up top, and you want your railing to be facing inward towards the inside of the house. And it just snaps on like that. So for step number six, we're gonna need number 41. So here is number 41, and we're gonna snap it onto the front of the house. So for step number seven, we need number 37, 38, and 39. So we have number 39, we have number 37, and we have number 38. 
So we'll start with 39, which is going to go right here in the center. And then we have 37, which goes on the smaller window. And then 38, which is the M shape that goes on the double window. need numbers 51 and 52. So now we're going to take numbers 51 and 52, which look like this, and snap them directly into the roof. Just like that. So this is a really awesome castle. When they say five feet, they mean five feet. So we need to go ahead and move this down to the floor so that I can put the pieces on top. So now we're on step number nine and I'm gonna need pieces 45 and 46. So here is number 45 and 46. And these are just gonna slip right, right into here. Just like that. So now we're on step number 10 and we need number 40. Here is number 40, and this is just going to snap in right at the top of the house. So for step number 11, we need numbers 44 and 53. So here we have numbers 44 and 53. We're gonna attach this into the back, just like that. And then we place it on top and snap in just like that. So now we're on step number 13, and we need two number 49s and two number 50s. And this is what number 49 and number 50 will look like. So we're going to snap number 49 just like that, and then we do it again on the other side. like that and then we take number 50 like that and then again on the other side just like that so the next several steps are your furniture assembly but I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to number seven and we are going to snap this right into here, just like that. So we're going to move to the back of our paper, which shows our chip art. So we're going to do our flooring and we're going to do our roofing. Here is our flooring. So our orange is going to go into our purple and the yellow is going to go into our pink. So we're going to go ahead and slide that in. Just like that and then our orange into our purple section and that one's finished and now we have our roof pieces and we'll just insert And now for this piece. So 
the outside assembly is complete. We've got all of the pieces put together and we put in all of our rooftops. And here we have the finished interior. It is all assembled except for, you will have your furniture to put in for decoration. There is a few bags of different furniture pieces. And then you have a paper full of stickers to put on different furniture pieces and some of the walls. All right, guys, I hope that this step-by-step -step guide to building the ultimate Arendelle Castle helped you guys out so much. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are super excited for the Frozen 2 movie, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any videos like this. We hope you love your brand new Ultimate Arendelle Castle, and we hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!